In this assignment, you are going to learn what a spreadsheet is and when you would use it. You're also going to learn some of the basic features of a spreadsheet. So a spreadsheet, I have the, the definition right here for you. A spreadsheet is an electronic document in which data is arranged in the rows and columns of a grid and can be manipulated and used in calculations. So you, people use spreadsheets a lot to keep track of, of numbers and to have calculations with those numbers completed for us so we don't have to do them ourselves. So it mentioned a row and a column in there, and a row is a series of data placed out horizontally in a table or spreadsheet. So horizontally means it goes from side to side. And a column is a vertical series of cells in a chart, table, or spreadsheet. So it goes vertical or up and down. And then finally, a cell is a rectangular area formed by the intersection of a column and a row. So where a column and row come together, that is what a cell is. And columns are lettered, so A through Z, um, and then it goes beyond that as well, and rows are numbered. So columns will be letters and rows will be numbers. A cell will be a combination of those two things. So a cell could be like A1, and I'll show you what that means in a moment. Here are the directions for the assignment. There are 22 things that we're going to do to our spreadsheet, and you can follow these directions or you can keep watching the video and watch as I go through them. So I'm going to move that document to my other screen and I'm going to start. So the first direction, number one says, add a fill color for cells A1 to H1. And like I said, when you click on a cell, this is the cell, it's the intersection between the column, the vertical column and the horizontal row. When I click on just a cell like this, it will outline it in blue and it shows up here in the left-hand corner what cell I'm in. So this is C3. This would be D6, but I want to start in A1. And I'm going to click and drag from A1 all the way to H1. So you can see here it says A1, and then you have colon H1. That means it goes from A1 to H1, and we're going to fill that in with a color. So I'm going to go to Fill Color, this paint bucket, and I'm going to pick a fill color. Next, number two says add a fill color for row two, the whole row. So normally in a spreadsheet, if you were to click and drag, you'll notice it just keeps going. Um, Google Sheets stops at letter Z, but you could always add more columns after this. So just to show you, if I were to insert um, another column, so if I insert columns, you can see that when it goes, it'll go past Z and it'll go to double A, A, B, A, A, C, A, D. So it keeps going. Um, so if that, with that being the case, the easiest way to select the whole row is not to click and drag, but to click on number two. And this will select the whole row as far as it goes. And we're gonna go ahead and add a fill color for that. So now I have my first row and my second row. The second row should go as far as my spreadsheet goes. Number three says add a fill color for cell A3 to A10. So A3, again, I should see that up there. And I'm gonna drag down to A10. And I'm going to add a fill color. And then it says add a fill color for column B. So again, if I want the full column B, I'm gonna click up here and it selects everything all the way down as far as I can scroll. It will select that whole thing. And then I'm gonna fill in a color for this. And again, you can use whatever colors you want. I'm just using shades of blue. So now the whole column B, again, as far as I can scroll down, is all gonna be in that color. Number five says add borders, and we wanna do the all borders to sell A1 to H10. So I'm gonna click in A1, and I'm gonna go all the way to column H, and then down to 10. And you can see it highlights it in that light blue. And then also up here, you can see A1 to H10. And I'm gonna add borders. So I'm gonna to go to borders and I'm gonna do all borders and you'll see the borders appear on there. Next on my list is number six, change the color of the borders to something besides black. So if you already clicked off of it and clicked on a different cell, we're gonna to need to highlight those cells again, A1 to H10. And then we're gonna to go to our borders 
And this time we're gonna go over to border color. So pick any uh, color that you want. And then we need to, again, after you pick the color, you need to click on all borders and it changes those to that color. Number seven says make the borders dashed instead of solid. So if you're still clicked on this, we're gonna go to border style and we're gonna go to one of these dashed ones. And if you're not clicked on it, you'll have to drag over it again to get it to change. So now I have the dashed borders that are in the color orange. Number eight says, enter your name and cell B13. So B13, and you're going to just type your name. Number nine says, add a second sheet to your spreadsheet. So to add a second sheet, let me move this out of the way. So to add a second sheet in the bottom left-hand corner, there's a plus sign. You click on this, and now you'll see you're on sheet number two. So for the directions 10 through 19 will be completed on this second sheet. So number 10 says resize row height to 75 for rows one through five. So to do that, I'm gonna click and drag over the first five rows. And then with my cursor over the side here, I'm gonna right click and I wanna go down to resize rows one through five. And instead of fit to data, I wanna go specify row height and I'm changing that to 75 and click OK. And you'll notice the rows got much uh, wider, or the height of the rows is now wider. Number 11 says resize column width to 100 for columns A through E. So I'm going to click A to E. Again, right click on them, and I'm going to resize columns. And I'm going to resize them to 100. They already are 100, um, so I don't have to do anything because that's the default. So I'm just going to click OK. Number 12 says type West Michigan Academy of Environmental Science in cell A1. So West Michigan Academy. Of Environmental Science. And then number 13 says wrap the text in cell A1. So I'm going to click back on A1. Again, this can be confusing if you haven't used sheets before. If I click on A2 or excuse me, cell B1, there's nothing there. If I look at my formula bar up here, there's nothing in either one of these cells. This all comes from the first cell. So if you're ever trying to change this text, you need to be in cell A1 to do it. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap that. So I'm gonna go up to text wrapping and wrap the text. And now it is wrapped. In, um, that was number 13. So number 14 says, type the word top in cell B1. So I'm gonna to go to B1 and type the word top. So after you have typed the word top in cell B1, if I click off that cell, you'll notice the text or the word drops to the bottom of the cell. So I wanna click back on that and I wanna do a vertical alignment. So if you look on your toolbar, you'll see vertical align and we wanna click on top. So now that word goes up to the top. Next, um, that was 15, this is 16. You're gonna type the word middle and same thing, when I click off, it drops to the bottom. Number 17 says to change the vertical alignment of cell C1 to the middle. So I'm gonna go back to vertical alignment and click middle, and that word goes to the middle. Number 18 says rename sheet two to your last name. So here's sheet two. I'm gonna right click on it, and I'm gonna rename it to my last name, Kunst. And that says, number 19 says change the color of sheet two to any color besides white. So if again, if I click off it and I right click on it, you can change the color of the sheet. I'll change it to that red color and it just gives it a little underline there. Number 19 says change sheet one to your first name. So rename, Mr. And then number 20 says to change the color. And then you can, number 22 says to submit your assignment. So you may go ahead and submit it.